What's up, Madden 17 Gamers? My name is Cody, and today I want to bring you the top five tips uh, to improve your defense overnight in Madden NFL 17. Uh, the first tip that I have for you is leverage. Uh, everything that in, is going to happen this season in Madden, you're going to find, is largely due to uh, leverage. Can you... Uh, can you get good leverage? Can you get good positioning? Those are some of the keys to this entire game. And, and, and honestly, I think that's the number one tip I could possibly give you. If I could give you one tip, it would be get good leverage. Leverage is the game in Madden, okay? It's a game in the real NFL. It's the game in this one. I mean, it is seriously the most important thing I can tell you. Because the idea of leverage is basically positioning. So what you want to do is you want to try to continue to keep inside position. Um, you want to force the opponent to throw the ball uh, to where basically the concept is you want to force them to, to throw the football into uh, certain positions on the field. So for example, right now I have leverage on this left, uh, the right side. So I want to force him to throw it to the right. So I'm going to play heavy coverage from the left side. And it looks like he's going to bring a back run. And here we're going to go. Now, the second tip that uh, I want to look into today is timing slash chess match. Okay, guys, this is a long game. There's a, there's a lot of things that are going to happen it, over the course of a game that you're not going to be able to kind of really predict. And and the idea here is really the idea that just understanding that um, understanding that that you don't have to blitz every play. It, it, it was monumental. Uh, in my growth as a player, it really was because when I when I finally understood that um, defense is one on third and two, not on first and ten, it changed my entire strategy. I uh, became much, 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 much more aggressive on third down and much less aggressive on first down. Um, now that was a really big deal for me. The third tip I want to give you is the tip of the as the tip of deception. Uh, what I like to do is I like to make every play look the same. Uh, so basically in my defense, so I run an nickel 3-3-5 odd right now out of the New England Patriots defensive playbook, and I make it look the same. My setup, it looks exactly the same every single time, over and over and over again. You'll see the same exact setup over and over and over and over again. And what you'll see me do with that is that I will do different things. So for example, I'll maybe send a corner blitz. Sometimes I'll send the corner blitz and then I may, may leave him in the flat zone the next time. You know, it just kind of changes based off the feel of the game, the way things are going. This guy's been running the ball quite a bit here. Um, so I'm going to get a little more aggressive here against this running game because he's got no real threat at receiver uh, in terms of his formation. And also really in terms of his play calling, he's been very conservative so far. Um, so nothing for me to really kind of worry about. One other thing I wanted to talk about, tip number four here is uh, protection. So protection is really important because basically the idea here is what you just saw there. I sent that corner blitz. So um, what's going to happen in the course of a, of a game of Madden is protection is key because of our final tip that we're going to give you in a minute. The idea is you've got to protect deep. Uh, you always want to play over the top coverage unless it's like a really critical point. Um, it's so, 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 so important to play over the top coverage um, because what's going to happen is it's going to force the force your opponent to take the underneath routes. And then eventually what we're going to do with that protection and deception combination is we're going to jump those flags just at the right time whenever we need to go. So don't feel like you try to have to stop everything. You need to stop certain things at certain times. Had a little live switch there, not quite sure what happened on that play. And that, uh, along with protection, it goes with this other one. Uh, don't get discouraged. Um, you, you know, you may give up a touchdown. You may give up a first down. You may give up a fourth and 14. Um, you know, whatever it may be. You may do that but the, the the hard part is to not get discouraged because when you get discouraged then you start making bad plays you start becoming much too aggressive it starts becoming uh, not fun you know it, it just starts becoming not fun and and that's why I would recommend highly to you guys to not get discouraged to just focus on alright what's next now he's got this now what are we gonna do now okay not getting caught up in the past but looking ahead constantly looking to that next step constantly looking ahead to see what you can do to shut down your opponent then finally this is my uh, this is critical this is the most critical thing I will say uh, probably all season long as far as it pertains to defense defense is not about stopping your opponent to you holding your opponent holding your opponent to zero points defense is simply holding your opponent to field goals rather than touchdowns 
Red zone defense is the most underrated component uh, of defense that we have ever in Madden. If we could hold our opponent to field goals, I would I would argue that the people that hold their opponent to field goals rating percentage is probably about 90%. Uh, I just know personally, like if I can hold you to field goals, that's my mentality. I'm not trying to not trying to run you out of the gym. I mean, yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to get a shutout. That'd be nice. But my main concern here is holding you to field goals. Holding you to field goals, holding you to field goals, holding you to field goals. With that mentality, I'm gonna put a lot of energy into my um, my red zone defensive strategy. And so and some of the strategy guys that we're gonna have coming for you guys, some of the some of the different books we're gonna have available. Those are going to focus on how do you really shut down your opponent, how, but, but more specifically, how do you shut down your opponent in the red zone? Because that's where the game is won and lost, in between um, that scoring range, holding them to field goals instead of touchdowns. Guys, I can't put it more simply than that. It's so, so essential. When you're playing uh, Madden, you've got to hold them to field goals. You just, you just have to hold them to field goals, guys. And, uh, and, and, and if they're not careful, they'll end up throwing an interception. So wanted to leave you guys with that, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Be sure to check out the description uh, for some additional information of ways to get involved and get some more tips for Madden 17. Thanks.